I'm Elena and this is Riley and this is our home, La Vagabond. <laughs> We've been sailing around the world for the last six years now and recently it's like we're seeing everything for the first time through a new set of eyes. This is our little boy Lenny. Click the subscribe button to join our voyage every Monday. We are 1,500 miles from the nearest piece of land in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean in water that is about 5,000 miles deep. It was getting a little hot, so we decided to go for a swim. Could there be a megalodon below us? Probably. Could the boat drift away from us? Maybe. Much more of a concern, as always, are those damn coconuts. I hope everyone's having a good day. Save some wood. <laughs> That's very efficient. Yep. How many litres of water do you think you'd use on this trip, Andre? Two? Yeah, maybe. Have you been drinking? I don't drink much. It's like you're taking a poop. It does, hey. Saving some water. Not, though, this is very important stuff. Arsing the sheet out. Oh, uh, that's that good. I can roll the socks. I hold the Good one. <laughs> this is so we thought it'd be a great idea to go for a walk this morning. <laughs> it's going so well. So well. Yes, we're back in Belgium. And we have a week, we have a week of rain. You feel the life. We're gonna go home and do a bit more of a workout and light the fire. <laughs> We're getting a bit wet out there. <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> yeah. Nearly at the airport, flying to London today. And then Antigua tomorrow. It's so, it's not even that early. It's seven and it's still dark. It's, it's like 4 a.m. Not okay. <laughs> Oh. I'm gonna miss you so much. You've been the best, really. You've been the best. Take care. Alright, ready? Come on in. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> Although travelling solo with a toddler still scares the absolute crap out of me and after a few uncomfortable experiences already, I wouldn't wish it upon my worst enemy, Lenny handled this trip like an absolute champ. He kept repeating the words Dada Boat over and over since the day we left in the Canaries. The thought of seeing the two of them reunite made me teary and we were only 10 hours worth of flights away. The boys were expected to make landfall at roughly the same time as us. I wondered if we'd be lucky enough to spot them from the sky. We 
hadn't seen a bird for a long time. This is usually the first sign of land on any voyage that you do. During the crossing, away from your mobile phone, the news and other people, you forget about the outside world, sometimes entirely. The bird was a bit of a reminder for me that there were other things out there, other people, and that our journey across the Atlantic would soon be at an end. It was going to be very, very good to see Lenny and Elena again shortly. What are you doing down here, lads? We're pulling apart as squalls or low pressure systems approach um, what the wind is going to be doing as it's approaching us from either the starboard side or off the port side. Are oh, we having a bet? Yeah, I reckon next Corona is on the uh, loser. <laughs> next Corona. Good man. I was really looking forward to doing the Atlantic crossing by myself. And I spoke to, I, I'd actually organized with Andre. I was like, yeah, um, that's what I'm gonna do, and Elena. And then Jack just rolled into Tenerife. Anyway, we went for a little sail and Elena and I were both like, oh my God, like Jack's like an incredible sailor. Just the way he moves around on the boat. And when I would go to do something, it was already happening. And I could just tell that he, he's, I mean, that's what he's been doing. But yeah, on Jack, he started out as a charter captain, but then he moved into sail instruction and particularly on performance catamaran, he's done performance catamaran classes off a TS-42. Um, and he really loves that. So if anyone out there is looking for like a sailing coach or an enthusiastic skipper or someone to get you up to speed on your own, I'd encourage you to get in touch with Jack. You really couldn't be in better hands. That's yeah, he's really, really good. So uh, I'll put a link to, I guess, his email in the description below, but yeah, there'll be more details there. So um, yeah, highly recommend that. There it is, it's a little mahi. <laughs> not that little. Yeah, it's not that little. Right, that's a stonker. Antigua Port Authority, Antigua Port Authority, this is sailing vessel La Vagabond, La Vagabond, do you copy? We've arrived. We too had also arrived. Unfortunately, the boys had to stay on anchor and we wouldn't get to see them this afternoon. So we thought we'd try and spot the vagabond from the shore and enjoy the warmth, something we hadn't felt in a while. Cheers. Um, um, it's Jada, can you say hello? Um, you want game? No, you need a shower. Hey, Lenny. Lenny. Lenny, it's Dada. <laughs> yeah, g'day, mate. <laughs> so yeah, I guess um, tomorrow I'll have to, like, we'll, we'll need to make some phone calls and I'll have to speak to the quarantine officer, check in, go to customs and immigration. We should be fine. It's cleaner on board now than it usually is. What? Yeah. It's grubby and dirty and... But that's 
Oh, yeah. Boys, are, boys are very clean. I run a tight ship alone and not a shite tip. I'll be the judge of that, mate. <laughs> What do you think of this one? Uh, I don't know, I'm feeling a little insecure. <laughs> <laughs> Lenny, can Dad have kiss? <laughs> <laughs> Never far away from your car, don't you? Team Vagabond! <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm hungry. I'm lucky you got two sausages right here. Mm. You can't eat on film though. I'm actually starving, hey? Are you? Yeah. These Beyond Meat sausages are like the best things I've ever eaten. I'm so happy right now. You Sam can't, Miguel you can't cheese. tell me my, my opinion's wrong. <clears throat> Unique New York. Unique New York. How was the Atlantic Crossing? Put your game face on, rabbit. We're going to talk about some of our highlights from the past few weeks and I don't know, yeah. We just thought we'd have a chat to you guys because it's fun. I thought that I would put the camera on and then surprise Elena with some things about the Atlantic Crossing that she doesn't know. This sounds very familiar. I'm getting deja vu. From what? The North Atlantic Crossing when you didn't tell me that there was a tropical oh, storm like headed that. our way. <laughs> I'm so glad you didn't tell me that though. But anyway, yeah. I'm sure this is far more chill. But, um, I d now I don't know. What was your lowest point of the crossing? Leaving. And then two or three days in, um, as tends to happen, everything just, all of my worries just vanished. That's one thing that I really wish everyone could experience. Knowing that you're going to be away for 15, 20 days, whatever it might be, and then as you sail off and you get out of reception range of your phone, all of the things that you should be worrying about start becoming important and all of the things that you shouldn't be worrying about evaporate. And then when you're out on the ocean, all of the things which are really important really start to uh, play a larger part on your mind, which feels more normal. Yeah. Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Have you read Scott Barry Kaufman's book? Transcendence? No, but I know you have. Tell us all about it, darling. Okay. <laughs> no, but you should all read it. I like him and his psychology podcast. Okay, ask me something. What's your sex drive been like since you've been pregnant? So I'm really happy to be back on board to have unpacked and like, you know, this is my home and I'm living out of a backpack is fun for a while, but I always look forward to just moving back into my little space. Was it hard traveling with Lenny just by yourself? He was an angel, like, he really, it was almost, I, was can't, I can't believe it. Yeah, he was so good. Sometimes he um, got impatient and would like run away from me at the airport, which is scary. But yeah, like, so you, especially when you, you can't. You either protect the bags or the child. I didn't care about the bags. I just like, Lenny, and the lady's like, go on, go and get him. Like, luckily people are so what understanding. <laughs> that was the only thing he did. 
And besides that, like we did a car, a road trip for eight hours and he didn't complain the whole time, but he was so good on this trip, thankfully. And I'm less mobile now. It's hard for me to chase after him. I mean, I'm not cued yet, but, um, and I had the best time with Sophia. Like I think I said, I just really needed some girl time. We're killing it. <laughs> Elena and I have been talking about all of the Lenny being on board and then all of the times when he wasn't on board and we've actually been going through our old videos. Which we don't usually do. Ever. Because we cringe at our old videos. But Especially me. If you would like to enjoy some cringy moments and there's some good stuff in there as well, obviously. I saw some YouTubers talking about how you have to have those old videos sitting there to, to embarrass you later on in life. It's, yeah. it's a rite of passage for, for um, I don't know, social media people or whatever. Yeah, you got to start somewhere. So I'm becoming more proud of the fact that those videos are hilariously So funny. Amateur. Like, I didn't even know how to act on camera. Yeah. I was so, like, oh, no, we were... nervous and, like, girly. I wasn't, like, now I swear and stuff. Now you're butch. <laughs> now I'm butch. <laughs> Start at number one. I think number three is missing. Yeah, one got um, deleted because I played Kendrick a cover Lamar. of Kendrick Lamar. So that one's missing, but anyway, you won't notice. If you're watching this, Kendrick. <laughs> Butch. <laughs> anyway, we'll see you guys in the next episode. We're going to give you the rundown of what we're actually going to be doing here in Antigua and with the birth of our next child and you know, a, a slight update on the new boat project and selling this boat. Um, We've got a lot going on. You know what we never do? It's going to be really hard to do this not so that it seems sarcastic. Mm. I love you. <laughs> I love you too. Thank you. May I please have a kiss? Mwah. Don't do moi. That's what Lenny That's does. That's for Lenny? Okay, we'll do it again. <laughs> <laughs> I was being serious then. <laughs>